Welcome, Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie an olive. So it, it, we're, we're going to dress it up a little bit, use a composite loop, and uh, here's one color that would be... Go ahead and zoom in. Uh, I'm going to fish this fly today or tomorrow, this one right here. I'm going to start with my 210 denier Danville's Flat Wax Mono. Um, not too long, but I want some bulk to this fly. And in my the ingredients of my composite loop will include some Senyo's freckled predator wrap. And I'm hap I happen to be using a like black and silver, but you could use a gold. Uh, gold and black all, as well. This is really nice stuff. Of course it's nice. I wouldn't be using it if it wasn't nice, would I? And I'm going to use uh, also use some um, some Senyo's metallic barred predator wrap. Uh, so, so the, uh, the 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 freckled is mostly metallic. It's um, and and then the God, all these names are confusing. This material is it's a little bit more clear, and uh, it's got fluorescent orange in it too. The whole point here is to have some sparkliness and some sparkliness and trans translucence. I want both. Here's what my material is going to look like when I put it in my loop. Now I got, uh, I got, I have, every once in a while I'll put down a little bit of Loctite just to keep things nice and steady in there. And the, uh, the I'm probably even going to try some of the super tacky, uh, some of the super tacky <coughs> dubbing wax. It helps hold things in here. If you don't use any dubbing wax whatsoever, the risk you run, it's kind of funny when it happens. You spin your loop and all the material just goes whoop, right to the center. And you got one big wad of dubbing, dubbing and legs and it's just a mess. But by having the, uh, the dubbing wax, it tends to hold things in place longer so it can spin up. It's something you probably ought to experience just for the fun of it. Once in your life. So now I'm, I'm going to try to pick these out so they're a little bit more parallel. Fewer angles in them. And I'm going to trim off a little bit of this one side. And I'm going to spin this baby up. One thing I noticed my hands aren't as strong as they used to be. And I used to be able to just one spin and it would go right where I wanted it to. Can't underestimate how much I enjoy this little this little uh, dubbing brush. So see what by brushing that the center core is thinner now. It it pulled out a lot of that uh, a lot of the substrate, but it, it left the nice long fibers in there. Take your chances. I'm using a Pro, Pro Sport Fisher Classic tube, and this one is actually winding on all by itself. They almost never do that. never.
so here's where you get a chance to work this over get out any loose fibers free a few trapped fibers you never free them all but you see how this is you know a lot of times people tie this fly with just a single slap and hack on uh, you, you see this has more body to it and you're going to be able to see the light will shine shimmer right through it it's just awesome I'm going to shift to a finer thread and the reason I'm going to shift to a finer thread is that when I finish this fly I'm um, just have a little tiny cone to slip on the end so Let's check the length of my zonker strip. My hook's going to be right about there, the bend of my hook. So that's about perfect. <laughs> Not going to be perfect if I don't put a new thread on there, though. Steelhead has been kind of tough this season not a lot of fish had not a lot of water but it's been uh, there's a few fish around and they've been receptive okay uh, now I'm gonna finish this off with a halo now a, a regular sylvanator would just have like a couple little ostrich fibers on each side. I'm going about half the length of the rabbit strip and I'm going to have a halo all the way around. Now. Is this fly going to be more effective than your traditional sylvanator with just a hint of ostrich on each side? Of course it is, otherwise I wouldn't be tying it. Now that's the, that's the first answer. The second answer is, well, what's your proof? I don't have any proof. I just know that sometimes I like to fish a fly that's a little bit fuller, a little bit more substance to it. And so this fly makes me quite happy when I'm in that kind of a mood. Now if I'm swinging this fly and I feel a steelhead come up and pull on me without really gobbling it down, I'll go right back with my traditional sylvanator that that's, you know, takes up a third the space that this fly does. And when I want something nice and big and fuzzy like this, that means that's what I want. Okay, now I'm going to finish this off because I, 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 I'm when I slide my cone on, I can't be having that big wad of stuff there. So I'm going to use a slap and hackle. And oddly enough, I, I love this color combination. This is a fluorescent shell pink. I frankly don't remember if it's shell pink or shrimp pink. But it's it's not hot pink. And this little bit of Loctite on there, just make sure that absolutely isn't going anywhere. And I'm going to fold this hackle if I can. Folding hackle is you know, a little bit of a crease to help guide the way that hackle goes on is always a good idea. 
when you're palmering, but it, it's sometimes it, you just can't do it very well. So you do the best you can. Some hackles fold very, very nicely, very cooperatively. Some just don't. And also, it's a little bit dicey. You better make sure you don't get that line caught around a real handle or your rod butt because if you do you hook a fish 20 feet away from the boat 15 feet away from the boat bright fish it's going to run real far real fast and you don't have much of a margin for error now i've not added any flash to this because there's plenty of flash in the composite loop Makes it nice. They have different colors. This is a metal, this is a brass cone. Kind of a fire engine red. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. I'm, I'm gonna trim it with a razor blade. And then I'll come back on camera to finish. Okay, pull my cone off. Here we go. Use the blue part of the flame. And I apologize. I, I know I get to ram. I've tied so many of these darn things. I get to rambling and storytelling, and sometimes I forgot to forget to mention some important things. So there you have it, uh, enhanced composite loop sylvanator. Give it a try, nice go out and fish it, I guarantee it works. Oh, the steelhead like it. Mm -hmm.